Yeah, I love this question. I get it all the time. And I think we have to put it in three buckets. There's distraction, disruption, and direction. And we have to be able to put each one in there. There's always noise in our industry. And so once you decide if it's distraction or, or disruption, um, it determines where you spend your time. So let me give an example of one. Is I always quote stats of what's happening with consumers and the experience of how they interface with an agent. And one of the biggest conflicts, conflicts we have right now is what an agent wants is sometimes not always what the consumer wants. So for example, leads come into agents and maybe go to the listing agent and they get 10 or 15 minutes to respond to it. And if they don't because they're busy, we reroute them to another agent. That's not what the consumer wants. And just like when I started two and a half decades ago, if someone walked into my office and said, I want to see this house, I didn't say, hang on, the listing agent will be back in four hours. We've got to jump on it. And so I hear all the time, online leads suck. They're terrible. I, I, I don't waste time with it. And I said, well, wait a minute. It is the direction of what consumers are doing. And so we have to step back and look at ourselves as agents and make sure we're serving them the right way. And in doing so, I tell agents that say these leads suck, the quality of the agent is determined by the quality of your response. Quality of the lead, say that again. The quality of the lead is determined by the quality of the agent's response. And that means how fast, how relevant, and everything in between, timing and content. And when people start rethinking about what the consumer wants in this process, they may not want the listing agent. They want someone to get back to them in microseconds. That could be what's important to them. So those are the type of things where we have to look and say, this is the direction of the consumer. Don't set up rules that just are how we want it as agents or brokers. Set them up so it helps consumers. I think one of the major distractions right now, and it's not just a distraction, but we've been talking for the last year or so about iBuyers. That's the thing that everyone, you say, yep, that's the distraction. First of all, I don't believe that every home is just gonna be purchased from ca for cash. Uh, I think it'll be in homogenous markets, homogenous housing markets, and it'll be single digit market share. But why has it become such a distraction or a disruption, however you want to phrase it, is it's helping the consumer experience. The so consumers are saying, this makes me selling my home much easier. So what do we need to take away from it is how can we pull things out of that space and use it to help create a better experience for someone that's maybe not interested in going through the eye buying process. We have to solve for that. Great. What is an issue in the in the industry right now that they should be paying attention to? Uh, their database. We have heard for a number of years, I said it five years ago on stage, we're on the back nine of data. Like we're on the 18th green about people being worried that I have to keep my data here and I'm not going to send data here, data here. All that data is already out there on every one of us. And we just happened to acquire a machine learning AI company. They have 750 points of data on every single homeowner in the US. But agents have to focus on their database. Because with all these leads happening, I believe top producing agents are at risk of having one or two or three deals picked out of their sphere. And so Focus on your database. And I always talk about a phone, you know, mobile device. What is in here? People say, where are leads? There is more business in the contacts in this single device than anything you could go out and purchase. And so protect your database. Don't worry about the data.